Hello everybody and welcome to Uligan's Christmas is Coming. This is a fun little Christmas game that Graham from Two Left Thumbs invited me to play, along with Nezaru and Super Positive. The game plays a lot like Monster Prom but without the dating aspect and an obvious Christmas theme. We played the game in one sitting and I'll probably break this up into four videos for you guys. And one thing to note is that the video is from Super Positive's perspective because my video unfortunately was corrupt, but due to the nature of the gameplay it shouldn't matter too much because you can still see everything that I'm doing. You can find everyone's channels in the description and a Merry Christmas to you all. I do hope Hope you enjoy. The gym is gone. <laughs> yeah. I just like that the first letters of Santa has begun pouring in. We're all loosening our belts a notch after the midwinter feast, but we can't let that slow us down. Midwinter, I'm in Canada. I got like four more months of winter ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> now that the big guy is awake, we can finally open up the rest of the North Pole. Ice skating! Because I want speed! <laughs> Make coins? I what? swear to God, if you found an other way of increasing your speed and strength <laughs> stat outside of the fucking gym, I'm I, gonna I, lose I, it. I will have a monopoly over this. <laughs> <laughs> figure skate, let's do it. Oh my god, this is great. You spend the week practicing figure skating with the North Pole's team. They specialize in duos, so you better be ready to raise your partner. See, I'm a strong gal, so that's fine. Oh God! No! Father <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas stands on the edge of the lake, watching Jack Frost. He was once my top helper, you know. He begins describing how Jack once became a human in an attempt to win over a woman that thought he <laughs> that he thought loved him. Oh my God, this is getting sad. Um, <laughs> you know why he isn't human anymore? <laughs> There's no wonder why Jack Frost is in a bush. <laughs> <laughs> she had never actually seen him before. She was in love with another. That's a kind oh. way of saying that, like, oh, he was ugly, so she didn't like him. Oh. I lost Mock Jolly. I'm on zero Jolly now. <laughs> I really thought, like, I, I would trust Nez on this. Do stats in Monster Prom not cap out at 9? No, nope. 12. They're infinite. Yeah, really? I, I just noticed that you went over, like, the double digits range for strong, and I'm just like, cool, I know who not to fight. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way that the idea of just lifting and launching it into the air, whatever elf I picked up, <laughs> just yeeting it. <laughs> All you have to do is, like, flick you us with your evening. finger, and we'll go flying across <laughs> yeah. the North Pole. <laughs> I heard what old Father Christmas told you. He offers you a hot chocolate and tells you um, his side of the story. It turns out that his that he feels the situation turned out for the best. He tried to be something he wasn't, and that wasn't good for anyone. After you both finish up your drinks, he thanks you for the conversation and asks you to keep the topic private. You gain one nice game. Well, I can't believe you're putting this on YouTube after they ask. <laughs> <laughs> you're a miserable zero jolly piece of shit. You sure are a good sister, I guess. <laughs> Well, at least you're rebounding on Jack Frost. <laughs> yeah. Jack okay. just needs some muscle to protect him. <laughs> That's all he cares about. Very shallow. <laughs> From I want to go it. to the reindeer stalls. <clears throat> clean the stalls, clean. train the reindeer to be my <laughs> soldiers. Come in and clean up that shit. <laughs> oh, it looked like you were throwing an uppercut. Whoa. You're just grabbing <laughs> your <laughs> You're raining right, because they raining. fly, yes. You spend the rest of the week running the reindeer, young and old, through their training courses. Every so often, you try out one of the jumps and... Nope! You gain one speedy, one creative, and are paid one gumdrop. I'm your fall speed as well. Oh, shit. While helping move one of the haystacks in the back of the stalls, you trip and fall into a hole underneath. What? You are ejected from the hole into an evergreen forest with a lone lamppost before you. Wait, what? You just find Narnia? <laughs> the clatter of hooves announces a sleigh as it approaches. A woman adorned in white with a crown of icicles sits in a sleigh and motions you in it. Oh. This is strange. Enter the sleigh, and look for an exit. Uh, the line, the witch, and the audacity of this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> the woman smiles and offers you some Turkish delight. I love Turkish delight. Dude, Turkish delight? <laughs> The two of you glide around the outside of the forest in her sleigh. We're having a magical time. She explains that all this land is hers and that it can get very lonely there. Ooh. After a time, you arrive back at the lamppost. 
They point you into the dense thicket of trees, which lead you back to the hole in the stalls. As you leave, the woman asks you um, to tell others to come oh, and enjoy her forest. Mm. She just wants <laughs> friends. She's lonely. I don't think she just wants friends. She, the yeah. way that she worded it was like, I am very lonely. She wants to come and enjoy my forest. She wants her sleigh ridden. <laughs> yes. I think you're becoming a recruiter for like a cult or something. <laughs> At mm. least, like, a small harem. We're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> and so you return the next day with friends, but the hole is gone. No! It's rude to, it's rude to call you a woman a one jolly. <laughs> Was it all just our imagination? Did I just imagine all of that up? Who knows? Oh, Maybe oh, it was just a reindeer I read. <laughs> I didn't realize half the, the stops are the same. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go to the garden. Yes. <laughs> oh, you're leaving me with the post office? <laughs> I'm going to walk in and they're going to be like, do you have something to mail? No. Well, fuck oh, you then. Why are you here? <laughs> that's, that's, if that's what you choose to do with your time at the oh, post you, office. You're going to have to, you're going to have to read Santa's fan mail. Right. <laughs> I really, I really want to crank up my jolly as much as I can, but I, I don't know which of these would. I uh, think med med meditate sounds like it'll give you like basically Creed? one of. I, I think it'd probably ah. give you one of most things. Let's try it. Sometimes you just need to clear your mind and let it all go. You meditate on the edge of the garden, enjoying the view of the North Pole. You gain oh. two jolly and one creative. Perfect. As you stroll out of the garden one evening, a white goat jumps onto the trail before you. Adorned in red ribbons, it bleats out at you. I am the goat. You will go to demand my gifts. And you'd better get them one. It's tradition. Everyone knows that the you will goat doesn't need anything big. But it's naughty to decline their demands. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay, awesome. I mean, I have four nice at this point, And I have enough money so yeah Fall and nice, plus man. i have a very personal connection to goats so i'm doing it you raise a <laughs> finger and promise to be back in a moment the christmas spirit puts some speed in your step you oh, i come I, I was hoping that would raise my speed i'm trying <laughs> to find it doesn't fall. i don't think i'm gonna catch you two you find yourself at the elves workshop asking for a toy gift toy fit for the yule goat when you return, the goat bleats its approval and hops back into the trees. You pay two gumdrops, gain one oh, nice one. Yeah. Sweetie, I, had, I had a feeling that you'd end up getting a pretty good distribution of everything there. I, nice. I mean, it cost two gumdrops, but honestly, I think considering what I got away with, that was, that was a seven huge jolly, error. yeah. Uh, how am I doing? And I'm the like the least speedy bitch here. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well write that stat off, I think. Yeah. I, I'm just looking at it and I'm like, yeah, no, I am. To be fair, I'm incredibly grumpy and incredibly poor, so. <laughs> incredibly grumpy, incredibly poor, but very strong. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Let's see. You can wrestle I'm... people into being your friends. That's the. <laughs> I think. They can't say no. There's only one more option for me to go. I can deliver letters to Santa, or I can mix up the letters. I'm gonna deliver. I'm gonna mix be... them up. Mix them up, you coward. Good boy. <laughs> you spend the week hauling letters from all the children of the world to Santa's workshop. They pour all their hopes and dreams into every letter. You laugh as you see them. I mean, so you better get them to the big guy. <laughs> you gain one nice, one speedy, and are. <laughs> Hey, that actually worked out for me. And are paid yeah. one gumdrop. I got a, I got a, I got a, like, a speedy out of it. I'll take it. Wow, a massive two speed. I know, I'm gonna be <laughs> up there one day. Comet and Vixen stand in line to deliver presents uh, to their cousins to the south. Sorry, brain was not working. A rare sight. Vixen tapped several hooves. She is clearly unhappy with Comet. Comet defends herself. It's not fair to think I did it to be mean. I'm sorry. I'm having trouble. <laughs> Are these two deers talking to each other? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You had to go bleed at you. Right. Right. So animal talking is not out of the question. <laughs> 
I was more thrown off because I've literally never thought to gender any of Santa's reindeer. Never <laughs> even crossed my mind, you know? Not even Rudolph? Now you have to. I guess so. <laughs> the two bicker for a time. With as long as the line ends, this may go on for a while. <laughs> Both of my options are like, leave Stand them alone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch this. I'm gonna... I'm, Oh, wait, sorry. No, I thought that said meditate. I thought... No, it's like, I guess that's what I read it first, too. So just I. take a breather. Just sit down <laughs> in the snow and... <laughs> no, it's mediate. Oh, God, I love it. Uh, let's, let's mediate. You step in and offer a few kind words. You let them each say their piece and draw meaningful connections between their points. By you the end, they're laughing and meditate. can hardly remember what started the fight. <laughs> Ah, the power of communication. You gain one nice and one jolly. Nice. Oh, I don't like the amount of overlap you and I have in our stats. <laughs> I'm a jolly bitch. Uh, what can I say? <laughs> the lights from all the children of the world have begun to pile up so high that a spool of lights... What the hell? So a spool of lights has been draped around them. It creates a most festive scene in the post office. Well, a sight to see. We need to get through those letters on the double. If Santa sees, he'll probably let out one of his jolly laughs, but he'll be angry. Set them on fire. <laughs> Very unpredictable if he's just that's, laughs that's, at everything. That's a terrifying to... prospect to me. The fact that, like, he laughs, but he is angry at the same time. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, is... there's just nothing but fury hidden, <laughs> buried deep down below that laughter. <laughs> the Santa who laughs. Are you guys familiar with the Batman who laughs? It's basically... uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to decide. That's I've a got joker. Decide. Do, do I want my muscle-bound freak to go skating again? Or should Don't she worry, Ned, I, I appreciated the Batman reference. Well done. <laughs> I'd appreciate also being able to work out at some point. <laughs> Never. <laughs> that time has passed. You had to you had to bulk up at the at the front of winter. We're in the hibernating phase now. <laughs> I'm gonna tend the garden as to not be mean. <laughs> You're gonna Although I'm not very jolly. Dance with your big old hammer fists. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Let's he see. would do anything delicately at this point. <laughs> he spent the week in Mother's uh, Mother Earth's garden, enjoying her conversation and helping her tend to the plants. She's the best company. You gain two creative and one strong. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you gain the strong out of that. <laughs> <laughs> you catch a glimpse of Jack Frost making his way into the garden. His hand idly brushes along the rose bush, causing the rose to turn all blue and freeze. Jack's eyes grow, um, grow. Wait, what? Grow, grow wide. Oh, I, <laughs> I completely misread that. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? <laughs> His eyes grow. Um, Jack's eyes grow wide as he realizes what he's done and begins to flag you down. Please help. I don't think I could handle Mother Earth's disappointment. Paint the roses red. <laughs> uh, um, I mean, Big Jack confesses sins. Convinced him. I feel like he would do it. Like it depends if that's a, a creative or jolly, or he well, just intimidate him. I mean, at this you point, can... it's very much like the the the, mo the moral conundrum of do I lie and paint it red so that maybe she'll never notice and it'll be fine, or do I con? convince you to fess up so that maybe things will still be fine it's just you know you have to well, live with the guilt of what you did <laughs> i feel like i feel like jack frost really wants to pound um and i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to let him down but at the same time mother earth she's pretty thick um let's <laughs> let's go with confess you force a smile and suggest mother earth won't mind blue roses are cool you heard a gasp behind you and turned to see Mother Earth, looking in disappointment. <laughs> Damn! You're immediately wrong! <laughs> Jack stutters out a sincere thought, um, though not particularly moving apology. Mother <laughs> Earth sighs and shows the two of you out the garden. You tried. Aw, I gained a nice. You gained a nice for that? That's honestly a little I lost, surprising. I lost, the the jolly. I lost the jolly that I don't have. I was already on zero. <laughs> I really wish it would let you go into the negative. That's a net positive. <laughs> yeah. Okay, where do I go? 
I want to go to the museum. Visit the weekly exhibit or do research. I will visit the exhibit. You spend the week following the Ghost of Christmas Past tour around the halls of the museum. Fascinated by this week's special exhibit. You gain two creative and one joy. Joy jolly. Snow can form a long queue coming out of the Great Snowball War Memorial. Oh god, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> There's some big war <laughs> memorial. Like, oh no! Christmas the, lore. The amount of like background lore and just little things. Like, oh yeah, remember yeah. this terrible war? <laughs> Thousands of Snowkin died. When Santa <laughs> first built up the North Pole, the elves needed a way to unwind from construction. A series of snowball fights to see which side was greater. The elves or the nearby Snowkin were held the, the entire winter. Wait, so they're actively admitting to that being a race war. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly. terrifying. Yeah. Jesus. Nearby, an older elf and Snowkin argue over the outcome of the war. <laughs> the elves push your people back well into the woods, the elf says. Because the elves are weak and we let the fight start the, at the tree line, the Snowkin shouts back. Show the elf strength or oh, broker peace. That. <laughs> Show the elf I strength. am not strong yeah. whatsoever. I will broker peace. It isn't about who won, but how much fun you had. Wait, people died. <laughs> Both smart. <laughs> you don't have a memorial to a war that at the end everyone said, ah, that was great. <laughs> The three of you walk around and admire the exhibit. They're just really bad at naming, like, festivities. <laughs> you linger in the wall, listing all the players involved, wishing you could all have taken a part. You gain two nice. I'd like to I'm imagine back all that my somewhere, nice. somewhere nearby, there's an entire cemetery <laughs> dedicated to the Great <laughs> Snowball War. And they're just right. like, but it was fun, and everyone's okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> Every time they're like, don't you wish you could have been there? <laughs> it was fun, right? <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to mix up the letters. I really, I do wish I had realized the naughty nice thing earlier, because then I would have committed full naughty. But now I'm going hard on the nice. I can't, I can't turn back. I don't think mm -hmm. make coins is naughty, though, is it? That one's Wait, not been done yet, either. Is, is making coins like a skating term for like, you know, skating circles on the ice? Or does it mean I make money? I don't know, but why would it be the skating place? Well, I mean, we already know that it can't be money because gumdrops is our currency. Yeah. Uh, I'll try coins. You spend the week making coins out of the ice like Jack Frost taught you. You're able to trade the coins what? for three different... What? At this point, we have coins, gumdrops, cookies? Although you might have just been paid for your time, not the cookies. I don't know. There's a lot of... Gumdrops. Also, that is that lot. not like... Is that not, like, making the structural integrity of the ice worse? <laughs> yeah, also, it seems a bit strange that you can sell ice for money. <laughs> yeah, that's that economy is bound to collapse. <laughs> I, I, okay, well, I mean, we, I can get buy, go to the store and buy a bag of ice for pretty, like, cheap and it's it's good for cooling my drinks i, I it's a real industry <laughs> i i mean i guess but if you live next to the ice if you live my, in a place where it's perpetually cold why do yeah. you need ice <laughs> my grandpa actually told me a story that his first job when he was like nine years old it was like the equivalent of a paper route is that you know they didn't have refrigerators they just had like an ice shed outside that you had to keep stocked with ice and so he would go down to the nearby lake, cut ice out, like sled it back to the ice shack, and someone would pay him like two bucks to do that. So he was legitimately, oh, yeah. he was legitimately this, putting ice this, into money. This was literally this, yeah. He did this job. I also like the applause echoing over the ice. That's something you'd find on like Reddit R that happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then they all collapse. Also, can we just talk about the guy in the background who's clearly falling? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Always worth a laugh. <laughs> a group is formed around Dancer as she tear tears up the lake with her impeccably choreographed moves. She asks for a partner to come and join her from the audience. She points to you. Dance with Dancer. <laughs> Ooh, do I feel jolly enough? I mean, I don't want to back out. 
you skate out to her and let her lead. This is a, a deer, yes? <laughs> Do they have four skates on, you think? <laughs> Your skate's knocking the dancer's hooves repeatedly. There's too many of them. That's her fault. <laughs> the crowd gasps as she is forced to compensate, dodging your inadvertent assaults with skill. I, I do have, like, deadly weapons on my feet. After a minute or so, it becomes too much, and she ejects you back towards the crowd. She, oh, like, no. Keeping in yeah. mind the fact that it's a deer, she probably kicked you with, like, your <laughs> the hind legs. <laughs> I just I wonder if it was where it... I do want to know if it was wearing skates. There needs to be a picture. I mean, Bambi didn't wear skates, and that did not go very well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, well, we've in... visited all of these places once. The reindeer souls seem like they could be fun, but more importantly, what have we done at Soda Jerk? We've, dr we've drank there, but we haven't cleaned there, have we? I no. don't think so. We're going to clean. You spend the week on your hands and knees, cleaning up the sticky residue left behind the <laughs> jerk signature drinks. I don't like the fact that hands and knees and sticky residue were in like the same <laughs> sentence. No, it's so jerk gross. signature drinks. There's a lot. I insist you move on from this sentence. <laughs> <laughs> you get oh, one speedy, what? one strong, and are paid one gumdrop. Yes! You're on a real binge tonight. As you down your third float, a sharp pain comes from your tooth. You rush to the dentist and need to have an emergency cavity filling. Um, everything is going smoothly, but as you go to leave, someone shouts, The laughing gas is gonna blow. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, so the gas in the dentist's office is going to explode? <laughs> I'm never going to the dentist again. I did not know this was a risk. <laughs> I can even Although apparently Soda Jerks has a great dental plan. You didn't pay a, yeah. a single oh. Yeah, I thought I was going to have to pay. I was like, God, no. So I was I gained... so excited for this to just take away all your money. I'm <laughs> all my current crumb you. Uh, so I could either help evacuate or I could fix the gas. Uh, I'll try evacuating because I don't know if I'm competent enough to fix the gas. <laughs> Imagine Creative would be the one to fix the gas. Maybe. There aren't that many people in the waiting room. You dash them out one at a time well before the gas blows through its containers and fills the building. <laughs> the next day, all the gas has been safely vented and everyone is still talking about the hero who got everyone out. You gained two nice. Wow. Oh, damn. Six nice.